my name is Benjamin Neal. I'm a doctoral student here at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography in the Scripps Photobiology Group. Our team of 10 students is working towards developing a marine microalgal biofuel that is sustainable, renewable, affordable, and does not contribute to global warming. Our intent with this award will be to enhance our biological capability so as to be able to reach out to the local companies that are now developing to utilize this technology and resolve their biologic and scientific issues. The basic idea is to use marine microalgae in a controlled, large-scale farmed application to produce lipids that can be easily transformed into a fuel that can be used in any modern diesel engine. This fuel conversion technology already exists, and the challenge today is in effectively growing and harvesting the algae in an economically and environmentally sustainable way. Marine algae are super efficient plants and can be grown with waste carbon dioxide from fossil fuel burning and municipal or agricultural wastewater as their primary sources of nutrients. In doing this, they create oxygen, clean water, and a biomass that can be used for the sustainable creation of a number of societally beneficial products, including a high protein fish meal substitute and methane or ethanol bioenergy, as well as the biodiesel. These guys might just look like pond scum, like something you'd see floating around in the ocean, but they're really, in fact, the workforces of the planet. It's algae like this that have made the stable, oxygenated environment that we all enjoy today. They're the driving force of the ocean ecosystem, the basis of all the fish, all the whales, everything else you find in the ocean. And they're the basis of all the petroleum supplies, that we're just getting to the end, to end of right now. And we think that these mighty small algae will have a significant role to play in the future. By using renewable algae biodiesel, we are reducing the amount of fossil fuels and reducing the amount of carbon dioxide emitted. However, this is not the only environmental issue that can be positively impacted. By utilizing wastewater nutrients for growth, these pollutants are removed from our coasts and rivers before they can create huge environmental algal blooms, like the ones that now cause the Mississippi dead zone every summer. Furthermore, by creating a novel new source of high-quality marine protein, we can reduce our over-harvesting of fish, over half of which is ground up for animal and aquaculture feed. Basically, we can create innovative closed-loop solutions in industries that utilize both our resources and our waste in ways that reduce environmental problems. By mimicking Mother Nature, we can begin living within our inherent sustainable limits. This is a shelf of different algal isolates. We test them to see what their biochemical properties are. One of the big things that we want to do as a part of this challenge is try and work on how to bring the lessons from the lab back out into the field, how to interface from the laboratory back out to industry. So do I think this could all work? I don't really know, but I do think that it could and I think that there's a chance that there are major discoveries to be made and that the Scripps Institution of Oceanography and UCSD could be a big part of making those discoveries. And I do think that there's a chance, just a chance, that this is a technology that could transform the world as we know it. And it could bring forth the future of clean fuels, clean waters, healthy coral reefs, and abundant food for all. I can imagine that future. And that's the future that this team wants to contribute towards. Thank you for your consideration.